Norman, it was a, a really positive weekend, I suppose, in terms of the qualifying pace. Did you think this morning when you were waking up that you'd be fighting for pole uh, today? You never know what uh, what happened in Formula E, so no, I was not uh, overthinking this morning. I was just trying to, to learn from my experience in Monaco, which means trying to job as much as, uh, as, as good as possible. Not over push because it's Monaco, because uh, it's really easy to you know, the extra pressure that you have because it's Monaco, you want to do well, you know, it's important for you, for the team, for everyone. So I just tried to use my experience and um, at the end in FP1, I had a break issue which uh, didn't start really well. So I was like, okay, stay calm. Uh, it's not uh, it's not the best to start the day like this because, yeah, obviously you're losing. We already have not so much, so many laps. Uh, so when you lose nearly a session, it's not great. But we kept calm, we managed to bounce back in FP2. I didn't put the 350, so that's why I was quite far back. But in 300, I was already like around P5, P6. And uh, in qualifying in my group, I managed to, to bring some uh, update in terms of uh, uh, braking uh, system. Um, in terms of driving as well, uh, I did improve in some corner. And uh, yeah, uh, being P1 in a group was a uh, was really, really good feeling. And then, uh, made it to the duel, so it was against uh, Mitch. I did like no 350 in uh, FP1 and FP2, so I was like, okay, <laughs> it's gonna be again Mitch with no, no practice. I was like, okay, just have fun. Uh, already like, worst case, you start P7 or P8, which is an okay race uh, or no okay position to start in Formula E. I just try to push as a limit and see what happened, and I made it through. And uh, again, Sasha, he did a really strong lap. Um, as I said, like I, I tried to do a bit more in driving because, as I said, like I had no reference at all in 350, and I did too many mistakes in this lap, and it didn't happen. But I mean, like so starting in P3 is, uh, is, uh, was a really uh, good position, especially like being both cars together was uh, was really nice. Yeah. So then, talk me about your race because obviously you know, started right front, but fell back a little bit. What was the strategy? And obviously, then you had the little bit of the contact towards the end. Uh, yeah, that's a consequence. Like uh, the race was pretty much, I would say, over before. Uh, before that, we uh, we didn't do well in terms of uh, attack mode strategy today. We lost uh, nearly six, seven positions, and the problem at the same time was the target was increasing. So after, like, to you only have no chance to, to, to get back this position if nothing happened in front of you. So from there, you, you I was in a position of being P2. You ended up being P8 in the middle of the park where. It's a bit of a mess, and then you find yourself like uh, with uh, yeah, basically like I don't even know what happened to be honest. But someone touched my front wing, it got stuck in the wheel, and I had to stop. So yeah, unlucky. But better luck next time in Jakarta. Though. Well done for this weekend.